And, and so you don't realize, but God is not targeting you to hurt you. You never find in the scripture Jesus does that. He's such a gentle God. He's such a loving God. He gets a woman in adultery. They throw him at his feet. What does Jesus do? Does he convict anybody? Does he, does he, does he make anybody feel bad about it? Absolutely not. So this idea of you lashing out against one another and being mean against one another, that's not God. That's not how God reaches your heart. That's how the spirit of mammon gets your heart. Because you know he's operating because then you go in other rooms. You're no longer talking. You go out somewhere and start drinking and smoking like you lost your darn mind. <laughs> because you have allowed a spirit to influence you. Now, you've got to deal with a spirit in a spiritual way. You cannot deal with a spirit with a drink. You cannot deal in the spiritual world trying to deal with the spiritual world in, in material ways. It's dumb. Come on, you are spiritual beings. I need for you to come alive and realize what we're dealing with here. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. Listen, if you're going, all those that live godly shall suffer some persecution. You, you're going to have some troubles. You will be troubled on every side. God did not promise you when you get Jesus, ooh, peace, 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 peace. peace. That, that's not in the Bible. Amen. 